uh, we all been shocked. She was a uh, healthy young kid, uh, ambitious, uh, 10 years old, I think. Uh, so definitely it was devastating. Doctors in Alberta are reporting an increase in strep infection in children with cases ranging from minor illnesses to life-threatening condition. Invasive group A streptococcus occurs when the bacteria enters into the parts of the body that normally has no bacteria entering the bloodstream, muscles, and tissues. It's the same the same bacteria that we all got when we were kids. The 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 what we what we say strep throat. It's the same bacteria, but if it enters the bloodstream and causes complications and life threatening diseases, we call it invasive group A streptococcus. Doctor Wissam shares that parents should be keeping an eye out for these specific symptoms. Symptoms as any strep throat, it will start as high grade fever, difficulty swallowing, uh, the kid looks sick. Um, if you see in their mouth, there will be angular looking tonsils, what may be pus on the, on the tonsils. Uh, they look sick in general, bacteria infection are more problematic than the viruses. Children with underlying health conditions are high at risk and in some cases, even relatively healthy children can develop complications. Uh, low immunity in general, you know, immune uh, kids with uh, 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 immune compromised kids, let's say uh, kids on chemotherapy or kids with leukemias and these kind of things. Dr. Wissam states that to protect against the infection, many of the same prevention measures used against COVID-19 flu and RSV can apply. Um, just um, the, the quick initiation of um, medications and the widespread of vaccination will, will hinder the spread of such disease yeah, and the serious complication of this bacteria. In Edmonton, Amal Mahmoud, City News.